Since their arrival on the Aliwal Shoal in 2006, the Black Tip Shark gangsters have taken over the neighborhood using their superior numbers, their nerve, and what seems like innate cunning. Smarter sharks mean further problems for local fishermen who've noticed something chilling. The black tips are now one step ahead of them. We will go to a reef, find sharks there. We can't get fish out, we'll move to another reef. There's sharks there. How could the sharks be there the instant the fishermen were? Dive operator Mark Addison has a hunch. He's already convinced the sharks are much smarter than scientists believed. Could they be smart enough to learn to link boats with food? To help him test the theory, he has called in shark learning expert Ryan Johnson. Scientists are quite skeptical, and, and I'm no exception. It's a very nice boat to be in, in Mark's boat, where you can come up with these amazing hypotheses, and I have a lot of respect for that, because that's how you advance science. But ultimately, the science has to come in, because you've got to test it, you've got to see if it's true. Ryan has designed an experiment to test Mark's theory. They'll use a technique called acoustic telemetry to see if they can attract a shark without using bait. This tag? OK. We want to get this into a, into a shark, into yeah. its mouth, let it retain it for six, seven hours. Okay. Once it's doing its normal thing, yeah. then we want to replicate a fishing boat. You okay. rev it up, rev it in, yeah. drive past, stop there. Okay. If the shark is conditioned to those engines, what it's going to do is start moving in. And as soon as it moves close to us, we're going to be able to hear it, and we're going to be able to track its movement towards or away from the boat. Acoustic telemetry is one of the only ways of tracking groups of large marine animals. It requires the tag to be attached to one of the black tips in some way. In this case, swallowed. Sharks can pick up sound over great distances. They will hear the engines as the boat zigzags over the reef, but will they associate the sound with a potential meal and respond? Let's get that set up now. Okay. In the last hour, the black tips could have covered several miles, but Ryan's receiver will only pick up a signal if the tag shark comes back to within 500 yards of the boat. Nothing. For 30 minutes, there's nothing. But then, from out of the deep, a distant noise. We're getting the ping. We're picking up the shark. That's it. That's it. It's probably within 200 meters of us now. Intriguing. Could be on a something, but... Mark and Ryan's experiment strongly suggests that the Aliwal blacktips have learned to associate the noise of an outboard motor with the expectation of food. Mark's groundbreaking theories have the potential to open up a whole new world of shark research.